What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you an automation that you can set up today to automatically generate a proposal each time you close a client. The first thing we're going to do is create a form that a prospect will fill in their details, their problems, and then we will give them a solution to their problem. Over here, click on create a new form. You can either create a new form from scratch, you can import questions or create a form with AI. I'm going to choose to start from scratch. We can begin the process of creating our form. The first thing I'll do is I'll remove this image. So you can click on delete to remove the image. And here, instead of asking multiple choice questions, I'll choose to collect the contact info of our prospects. Now I'll remove the phone number and leave the first name, last name, email, and company name. I'll choose to make the, all these fields required. So here you can, you can choose to just write a brief description. You can ask them what's your name and your company's name. You can choose to make this one italic and make this one to bold. Now let us add new content page. So here we can choose to add a long text. We can choose to ask the prospect what's their main problem that they're facing in their business right now. So here on the second page, you can say what the main problem you're facing right now in your business. You can choose to highlight this and make it bold. You can also give a brief description of what you do. Is that another content page? Now, here is where we are offering them the solution. Let's add the last content page, which can say is to end uh, the screen. Here we can remove the social share icons. You can also remove the button. Here we can say thanks for filling in your details. Let's try and find a good design. Click on design and then click on themes and then on gallery. And here you can choose a theme for your form. This one looks perfect. Click on publish to publish our form. So the changes have been published. Let's preview our form. Looks awesome. Even on mobile. Even on mobile looks perfect. Amazing. To get the link of our view, just click on share. And then click on copy link. Open a new tab and then paste our link. And you'll see our form right here. So this is the example form that we built. You can click on my workspace. And you can see the type form that we just created. Now we can begin creating our automation. Now on make.com, we'll start by calling type form. So search for type form. Click on type form. And since we are watching for responses, we're going to use the watch response trigger. Here we're going to connect our type form with make.com. So here we're going to add a webhook. So here we can rename our form. For example, we can say, we can call our webhook as proposal generator form. And here we can now begin setting up our connection. So to set up our connection, click on add, and then click on save. Here you can choose the right connection. So our connection is this one. And then for the form ID, we're going to choose our type form. So here we're going to choose a proposal generator form, and then click on save. Then over here, click on OK, and our first module is connected. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a sleeper timer. So click on tools and add a sleep timer. Here you can say as delay for three seconds, and then click on OK. And then here, back to type form, we can list the responses that we are getting from our form. The list response module, pick the right connection and then on the form id we're going to choose our form then set a limit to one instead of ten then leave everything here as is and then click on ok and then here now we can begin generating our proposal using pandadoc so click on pandadoc click on create a document we can give our document a name so here we can say proposal for our form doesn't have any data this is because we didn't add any data to our form so let us first of all do that so 
say we can click on OK, click on Cancel first, and I'll save it so we don't lose anything. And here, we can choose to run our module, and then on our form, we can add our details. So, so here, let us fill in our form. And then click on OK. What's the main problem that you're facing right now? And then click on OK. Solution. And then click on Submit. Now when we go back to our proposal automation, you can see now that our scenario has the data. So you can see the answers right here. So these are the details that we just filled in. And then and you can see them collectively on the map of all answers. Right here, so this was a first name, last name, email, company, problem, and solution. Now that we have all the details, now we can set up the partner doc and start generating our proposal. So click on the module. And here we can give our document a name. So we can say proposal for, and then here we can add our first name template ID, because since we are creating a proposal, we can say sample cell proposal. And then here we can add these details right here. For example, a client email will be this email right here. Our sender email, we can add our own email. The client company, so this is the client company. Client first name, choose the client first name right here. Client last name, client last name right here. For the owner, for the token, owner name, we can add a name right here. Here we can add our company. First name. Last name. And then send out date, which is, let's say, 29 April 2024. And then send a document, click on yes. A subject line could be proposal for, and then add the first name. So for a message could be in the lines of hi, first name. So for the first name, you click on this right here and say, thanks for the call earlier. Here's a proposal I promise to send you after our call. It has all the details on how we can solve your problems the business is facing right now. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks, Ernest. And then click on OK now. See if our automation is working. We'll run the automation again. And then you can see it's waiting for data. Now we can fill in the data on our form. This time round, choose a female's name. For example, Amy. Amy Smith. Her email. And then she works at Annex. Then click on OK. What's the main problem that you're facing right now? We can say lack of an efficient and effective operation system in our business. Then click on OK. The solution to build a CRM from scratch and automate all your system workflows. And then click on Submit. So now when we go back to automation, you'll see now it will start receiving data. And it will list the responses, and here Pandadoc will begin creating our proposal for us. So you can see our message right here of our proposal, and the subject is proposal for Amy. Now let us open our email and see if our proposal was sent. You can see right here that we just received a proposal email. So here we can see that Pandadoc created a proposal for us, which we're going to send to Amy. This is the body of the message in our proposal. Now to view the entire proposal, click on open the document and you'll be redirected right here. Pandadog did an incredible job of creating a proposal for us. So you can see our proposal is aimed for Amy. The sales proposal for annex.com, which we are sending it to Amy Smith. And then the proposal was created by myself and I work at Lux Automation. So over here, you can write your cover letter. It also added an about us page. 
We can briefly write about your company and what you offer and the problems that you solve for businesses. It also shares a video showing you how you can create your proposal. You can also add members of your team right here with the role they have in your company. Outline the overview of the solution that you are offering them right here with images. On this other section, you can outline the plan, details, and pricing. And then add the details right here and the prices and the total amount. We, here you'll add the signatures and the date, and then you'll send it to Amy so she can add her signature and the date. You can choose to add another section on what other customers say about your company. You can showcase your testimonials or case studies right here. After you've added your cover letter, added a quick overview of your company, added your members of your team, outlined the solution that you're offering them, and then added the plan details and the pricing, and signed the proposal, you can click on finish, and the proposal will be sent to your prospect. So that's a quick video on how you can set up a proposal generator automation using make.com. You can set up this automation in your business and it will send automatic proposals to your prospects without you having to be manually involved in creating the proposals and sending the proposals to your prospects. It will save you a tremendous amount of time, which you can use to ensure that your clients are satisfied, which will result to the growth of your business. If you have any ideas, concepts, or questions, on how you can set up automations on make.com. Comment them, comment them down below in the comment section. And if your ideas, concepts, or questions make sense, I'll create a future video on the exact same topic. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.